Right, let's start off with a little experiment. If you've got the ability to video your golf swing, and I'm sure many of you have just with phone, I'd love you to video it from face on. Have a look at this checkpoint and then drop down to the comments box and let me know whether you are above or below that line. What is that checkpoint? So at address, you're gonna place a line or just visually reference the top of the grip. So in here, and you're gonna kinda, if you can draw a line, you're gonna put that line out horizontally out this way. Now the checkpoint I want you to have is when the club shaft is level with the ground on the way down, so here, I want you to tell me whether the grip of your club is above or below that line. My hunch, the chances are your grip will be much higher than that line at that checkpoint. Then if you want to go onto YouTube or wherever you go and look at videos, have a look at the best players in the world, your Adam Scott, your Rory McIlroy, your Tiger Woods when he was playing so good in the 2000s. Have a look at where their grip is. It will be lower than that line or kind of on that line. And when we're looking at strike and, and compressing the irons and getting that real nice sensation off the club face with that really nice penetrating flight and the nice divot, this is one of the most important checkpoints. If your grip is higher than that line at this last parallel, it's almost impossible for you to strike the ball really well. Let's go through why. When the best players hit the golf ball, I'm gonna make this far more exaggerated. They have the club head traveling downwards into the back of the ball. That's why they take divots. You probably know that they hit down on the golf ball and attack angle, which is minus. But as they do that, the grip end of the club is actually moving upwards. So you can see how I can have the club head moving downwards, but I can have the grip moving upwards. This is what's happening with the best player. When they hit down, it's not because the whole golf club is going down. That's definitely a misconception. That's not what's happening. The club is going down, but the grip is going up. So when they hit the ball, if the grip at this point is going upwards, kind of makes sense that at some point before that, it needed to be lower. So yes, I'm making this exaggerated, but when you hit solid golf shots, when the best players in the world hit solid golf shots, the grip is lower here than it would be at impact. They go from here, club shaft is parallel, grip then rises, club goes down and they strike the golf ball. What causes that grip to rise? Lead shoulder moving this way, lead hip moving this way, left leg straightening, rotating out the way. So do you want those things in your golf swing? Of course you do, of course you do. Of course we want that nice rotation through the ball where the body's extending this way and we're getting this nice structured position which allows you to get these arms nice and close. What is gonna happen, I almost guarantee it, is if your grip is higher than it needs to be at this parallel position here, you will stop this turning, you will stop the hips opening, and you will be trying to force everything down to reach the golf ball. You'll be trying to push the club down. It's never gonna end well. You might get the odd one that works, but on the whole, it's gonna be inconsistent. So if your goal swing through impact feels kind of, stuck it feels like you can't turn through it feels like you can't rotate it doesn't feel like you can really explode out the golf ball this is why there's two things that we need in order to fix this i'm going to set up a little practice station to highlight what they are and then we'll come back and show you how you can practice it this is your first little exercise your first little practice station and feel free to do this at home first you can do this against a wall that's a really good place to start i've got my alignment sticks here with a cover on golf bag is fine we just need a reference point behind you now you might want to do this indoors so because of that i'm going to take the club away and just pop it across my shoulders what i would love you to do is take a setup against a wall against a golf bag just something that's behind you and just shuffle so, so you are just away from that maybe an inch nothing too much take your posture make a backswing, and then as you work back, I want you to push into that wall. So as you can see, as I'm doing that, I'm very, very slightly increasing the amount of flex or the angles that are in my body. Now, what that will do on its own is it will allow the arms to get lower. You know, if we are getting taller, it would make sense that the arms are gonna be higher or further from the ground. So many of you who have those hands too high at that point, it's because from the top, the body extends early and then it becomes almost impossible to get the hands low. Then we're definitely gonna be slowing our rotation and forcing the golf club down. So if I was doing this at home, I'd be having the club across my shoulders or you know, a reference point across my shoulders, being just away from the wall, 
and then I'm rotating, I probably don't feel the wall, and then I rotate, feel the wall, feel the wall, feel the wall. And absolutely fine, you know, to do this in practice and, and make it relatively exaggerated. We might not see that much of a drop in height when we actually come to hit shots, that's kind of fine. We're just looking to create a feeling and an awareness of the right kind of movement. Early extending and having the hips move away from that wall means the head will rise and that hands will not get down to where they need to be. So this has to be our first little drill. Start at home, that's the best place to get the sensations. The second one, we're gonna use another little device. I'm just gonna set that up and we'll come back and see how we're gonna use that. So as you can see, I've just got this attached to my belt. This is um, just a training aid. Just get a little creative. Obviously this is a specifically designed golf device. I'm just using a reference. You don't actually need this, but if you can just create something like this, say get a little creative, a little inventive, which is really gonna help. And this ball on the end is gonna be used as my reference. So let's take an address. Let's go up to the top. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate and feel that wall behind me. Now, as I do that, clearly my hands do not get down lower than where they were in a dress. They're still way too high. So as we're making this movement with our body, we actually need to get the arms to work a little bit more down towards the ground. The arms or your lead arm will need to work down your chest. Your trail arm will start to straighten a little bit. It won't straighten fully, but it will straighten a little bit. So once I've got this reference point here, and you can see that when I set up, it's you know roughly at the same height as the grip end of my club, I can now make some rehearsals where I'm going to the top, I'm working against the wall, and my hands work down into this delivery position. Now, if we put that line on at the start, now we're into a fantastic delivery position. I've got great angles in my body. I've got the grip lower than it was at setup. I'm now in a position where I can explode out, which will raise the grip up as I send the club head down. That is the combination that we need. Can't get away from it. When the ball is on the ground, that's how we have to hit the golf ball. There's different variations of that, but we need that movement. So it's really gonna highlight if you're someone who really struggles to get the hands down, because if you're here, then yes, that rotation is going to stop as you try and force everything down and you're going to get really buckled arms. This is a great way to practice it. So how would I hit shots? Well, I'm certainly not going to reach that green, but I'm going to do a few pump drills. I'm going to go up to the top. I'm going to rehearse it. I'm going to rehearse it. I'm going to rehearse it. And then I'm going to explode out the way. And I should be able to hit really nice struck golf shots like that one. Nice and low, but the strike was exactly what I needed. And for me to do that, and for you to do that, the two key points, you know, is the shape that's in your body and where your hands are in terms of a height relative to where they were at setup. I've done a video similar to this before, and I called it the underwater drill. And all I said was, imagine that the top of the grip was the top of some water. And I imagine, I tried to get you to imagine you were standing in a swimming pool and the water level was around about where the top of the grip is. Your job from the top was to get that grip underwater. Same idea, same principles. And then from there, you pull it up above the level of the water. If I hit one now, we should see something that looks pretty similar. And with any luck, I get a strike, which is uh, kind of what I want. <laughs> 